Hi guys, this is John from Studio Cinematic. Today I'll show you how easy you can tweak the sound using our video editor. Stick around and I guarantee you'll find at least something you love. With that said, let's dive into it. We have three rows of sound. First, it's the sound coming from your original videos. As you import your videos, by default we'll set the volume to 50%. You can of course tweak that to your liking. The second row is your music. By default we've pre-selected a song, but you can use anything you want. First, we have some royalty-free music here. You can simply take it and drag and drop it here. Or use your own music. Just go to File Explorer, take your favorite song and drop it here. We'll automatically recognize the song's BPM, the beats per minute, and we'll show you the beats here. More on beats later. The third row is where you can record yourself if you wish to do so. The first thing to know is this. When you talk, the music will fade out in the background and fade back in when you're finished talking. I'll show you in a bit. Before delving into each row, here's a cool thing you can do. Anywhere you are on the video sound or on the background sound, just press space to play. This will only play the current track. Press it again to pause. If you want the whole combined sound to play, press shift space. Press it again to pause. Notice that each row has a few tools you can use. You can click on the red dot and select what tool you want for this row. Or you can use the hotkeys to achieve the same effect. Like I press 2 and go into select mode or 3 and go into split mode. Let's go into select mode. Here you can select a region. If it's not exactly what you want, you can tweak it as you wish. Once you have the selection you want, you can either cut it out, do a reverse cut, meaning keep this one and cut the rest, or copy, make a copy of this. Let's just cut this out for now. Now let's check out the split mode, hotkey 3. You can go anywhere and make a split with a single click. Let's do it here. Now you have two segments you can manipulate independently. For instance, let's change the volume of the second segment. When you want to change the volume, you need to go back to no tool mode, hotkey 1. When you have two segments following each other and they have different volumes, when the second segment starts, the volume will fade in or fade out so that the transition is smooth. Check it out. With that out of the way, let's delve into each row. First, the video. By default, the sound is synchronized to the video. If you move the video, the sound will go with it. If you make the video run faster, the sound will stretch. Check it out. Or you can decide to cut a part of the video. If the sound is synchronized, that sound part will be deleted as well. You can unsynchronize it from the video. In this case, you can do whatever you wish with this sound. For instance, you can decide to cut out a part of it, like this. Or delete it, like this. Let's move on to the second row, the music. You can easily preview the music. Just press space and only select your favorite parts. <laughs> You can easily decide where the music starts and where it ends. Notice the beats. This shows you where the cool parts of the song are and you can synchronize to them. I'll show you more in a bit. Finally, the record video row, where you can record yourself. 
just hover over where you want to record and click. When you're done, press stop recording and see if you like it. If you don't, delete it and start over. Hi guys, this is John. 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 Let me show you how the music fades into the background when you talk. Shift space. Hi guys, this is John. One more thing. If you're in record mode, hotkey 5, you can also press space hotkey to record and space hotkey to start recording. And finally, onto the really cool stuff. You always hear people talking about beats and synchronizing to the beat. Here are the beats. There are several ways to synchronize to the beat. First off, you can cut out the last part of the video so that the video ends on the beat. And the next one also starts on the beat, like this. Maybe you don't want to cut anything from your video, what then? In this case, go find the beat you like. Test play until you find it. Let's assume it's this one. Go with the mouse to it and let's drag it to the end of your first video. Now you're synchronized to the beat. You can also have an effect. Let's drag and drop one. If you want to synchronize it to the beat, drag it start or end like this. Or drag the whole effect like this. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. And if you want me to explain something else about Studio Cinematic, let me know in the comments below.